So, what do you think of Queens? The monarch or the guys who it's the most fun to hang out with? <laughs> the borough. I've been looking at apartments on Street Easy. I think I'm gonna give Queens a try. It's the hot place. What happened to Brooklyn? Brooklyn's done. Oh, I'm so behind. You get more space in Queens, and I want a bedroom and a dedicated writing space, especially since... Oh, yeah, is this the top secret Manhattan project you've been working on? Could be. Ooh, happy news. Tell, tell. <laughs> well, it's a book. You bought one? No. You borrowed one? No. You burned one? No, I'm writing a book. Really? Nutty Naomi changed her mind? Oh, no, I'm writing this solo. No crazy collaborators. Wow. I know, right? So, what's it about? I'm dying to hear. Sorry, just an expression. <laughs> Is it a love story, a mystery, a feel-good puppy, kitten, pony, raccoon travel across country to enter a cow in the county fair story? It's nonfiction. So is the puppy, kitten, pony, raccoon, cow, county fair caper. <laughs> no animals, no capers. It's about me and you. Me and you? Yes. And do we fight crime? Uh, it's about our relationship, our mother-daughter thing, the friend thing. It's our journey and the journey you took before I was born. Maybe I glossed over it too much. Just picture this. It starts. You're 16, you're pregnant. You're packing up to leave grandma's house. It's a riches to rags story. It's got everything. It, family struggle, class warfare, the independent woman thing. And from there, I'm gonna tell the story chronologically or I might jump back and forth a bit. I haven't decided yet, but. No. What do you mean, no? I mean, no, I don't want you to write that. You don't understand. Let me pitch it again. I get it. No. Why? Because it's my life. It's our life? Yeah. Well, you write your side of it. My side? Yeah. And who would I be talking to? I, I don't know. <laughs> Mrs. Muir, find a ghost. Mom, come on. I have to do this. You don't have my permission. We should go somewhere else. The dead don't have ears. There are people behind us. <laughs> Where is this coming from? What inspired you? I was frustrated. I was talking to Jess. Jess? How the hell did he get into this? He was here visiting Luke. Oh, great. I'm looking forward to Jess's take on me. That's terrific. It's not his take on you. Sorry, kid. Write about something else. No. Write about your relationships. You and Jess. You and Dean. They'll be in it, too. Don't forget to include Logan, the guy you just can't quit. It's not fair. It's my life, Rory. I went to all this effort for many, many years, making sure the people only knew what I wanted them to know. Now you're going to lay it all out in a book? I don't want my mother finding out I left you in a bucket in a hardware store in chapter six. Are you kidding me? You're 32 years old. She'll still petition the court to have you taken away from me. This is such an overreaction. Oh, really? Do you know that your grandmother called you Susan until you were two years old? She did not. In fact, write a book about that, about a woman who leaves a baby in a bucket and her own mother takes her to court. It's a perfect Lifetime movie. Maggie Smith can play the mother. Mom, come on. You didn't think this through, kid. No, I did think this through. I am not a kid. This was not a whim. I sat down last night and outlined the first five chapters just like that. That's a sign. What sign? That this is it. This is what I am supposed to do. No. I'm sorry. I have to. Without this, it's grad school or groveling for jobs that I don't want. Find another subject. So I'm supposed to not do something that could change my future because you don't want grandma to find out that you left me in a bucket. That's what this boils down to? More or less. But you did leave me in a bucket. Okay, you know what? Do whatever you want, Rory. You're a big girl. I can't stop you. No, no, that's not how you and I work. We don't do the passive aggressive thing. That's how you and your mother work. You're supposed to be on my side. I need this. Can't you understand that? I understand. I always understand. For the last 32 years, I have been the queen of understanding. Mom, stop, please, give me this. I can't, not this time. I sat down and it just came out, flew out. It's like the story has just been sitting in my brain for years, taking up space. Like the lyrics to my Sharona. Exactly. <laughs> no, it, it's been there, just waiting for me to put it down on paper. Nothing I've ever written has been this easy. Mm. And I get your feelings. I really do. So here's the deal. I want you to read it. Just read it. After you do, if you still think it's a bad idea, if you think it's invasive, then I won't finish it. I promise. I will just throw those pages away. And that's it. No harm, no foul. Deal? Rory. I promise. No harm, no foul. But you won't like me anymore. Not true. I'll be your candy spelling. You will not be my candy spelling. OK. What? Here. You read it. No, I didn't. 
You, I'm not gonna read it. You go ahead and finish it. I'll read it when it's done. Are you sure? If I don't like it, I'll just sue your ass. Wow. It's <laughs> good publicity. Sue me either way. You got it. Thanks, Mom. Yeah. Just one note. Drop the the. Just go more girls. It's cleaner. Go more girls. <laughs>